Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I've had a lot of subscribers, especially weekend warriors and beginners, saying, Scott, we don't want to buy professional products. What do you recommend to wash, to clay? What are retail products that you would recommend that could give you professional results? I think it's a great question and I want to put it all in one video. What I have here is everything from the washing process to the claying process to degreasing if you need to degrease, also some body solvents or paint preps and also compounds and polishes plus spray waxes and typical sealants or cleaner waxes if you will. Let me go through this rather quickly with you. I want to put this all in one video. When it comes to washing a vehicle and I want to use a pH neutral soap, I'm going to use Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash. Really nice pH neutral soap. Lots of lubrication under the wash mitt. Very easy to work with and it rinses freely. I think Meguiar's on a retail level, the Gold Class is a great pH neutral soap. Now, if you need something with a little bit more power, let's say you're deciding to remove some old waxes and sealants off your vehicle and you want to start over and start fresh, I'm going to recommend Purple Power Vehicle and Boat Wash. This is a non-pH neutral soap, so be careful how you use this. Work out of direct sunlight, make sure the panel's cool to the touch, but it's not pH neutral. Depending on how you dilute it, you'll have a pH of 9 or 10. Really great for removing old waxes and sealants, removing traffic film off the car. Maybe every three or four months you want to start off fresh and put a new foundation of sealant on your vehicle. Really great way to remove some of those old waxes and sealants. I guess some would call it like a decontamination wash. Purple Power Vehicle and Bolt Wash has got a great one and relatively cheap to, to, to buy. It's about $8 for the gallon and you can buy it at Walmart. The next soap I want to talk about, I wanted to throw this one in because if I'm going to be doing some type of paint correction, a one-step or a two-step on a car, and I'm working on a neglected car, and before I clay, I like Meguiar's Wash Plus. The reason for it, it has light abrasives within the formula. So believe it or not, I'm going to use a scary word. I actually scrub the paint lightly with this wash soap to help me remove some light bonded contaminants off the paint, maybe some nasty bugs, small tar areas on the paint before I go to clay. Meguiar's Wash Plus is really nice for that. Really great soap before I do some type of paint correction on a really neglected vehicle. I'm also going to throw in Meguiar's Ultimate Waterless Wash and Wax. For those of you that might live in water restricted areas, you don't want to break out the hose, whatever the case may be, on a retail level, Meguiar's Ultimate Waterless Wash and Wax is a nice formula. I think a lot of you get the point on how waterless washes work, but that's a nice one found at Walmart. What is this stuff, like eight or nine bucks? It's not that bad. It won't break the bank. When it comes to claying the vehicle, I've talked about this product before, is Mother's Clay Bar Kit. You can find this at Walmart. Meguiar's makes one as well. If it matters to you, I happen to like the Mother's a little bit more than the Meguiar's, but you can't go wrong either way. But it's a nice clay bar kit to remove bonded contaminants from the paint. Comes with 200 grams of clay and an instant detailer spray as your clay lubricant. When it comes to dialing in the wheels, you want to clean the wheels. Sometimes this is the dirtiest area of the car. I'm going to recommend two wheel cleaners on a retail level. This is Meguiar's Ultimate All-Wheel Cleaner. This is a nice wheel cleaner because it has a color-changing formula. When it comes in contact with brake dust, it begins to break it down and dissolve it, and it changes color. That's really nice. What's also nice about Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner, if you're working out of direct sunlight, you're working on a cool panel, and it's it's and you're working in the shade, you can use this stuff like Iron X to remove metals, ferrous metals from the paint. So that's a nice option too. It's kind of a double whammy for you. The other wheel cleaner, if you watch professionals professional detailers videos like myself or others, we always talk about an acid-based wheel cleaner, Meguiar's Wheel Brightener. I know it scares some folks, but on a retail level, Eagle One has their Etching Mag Wheel Cleaner. This is really nice because if you have a really neglected wheel, let's say it hasn't been cleaned in months, it's a BMW or Mercedes, lots of built up brake dust, an acid-based wheel cleaner on OEM clear coated wheels is really going to help you. It's one of the fastest ways to break down brake dust on a vehicle. You don't have to wait the four to five minutes for like Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner or other color changing wheel cleaners on the market. You don't have to wait for it to break that bond and turn purple. You can just 
get right to the punch. So it might be a nice product to have for an emergency, especially with neg neglected wheels. I want to talk about if you're trying to remove tar or adhesives from the paint or you've got some road paint that got on your car, unfortunately. A lot of you guys know I'm a Citral 266 fan. This is an aerosol. Really great with removing adhesives from the paint. Great with road tar, bugs, paint that might get on, road paint that might get on your car. Really great product for that. It is water soluble. Always work out of direct sunlight if you're a beginner. You can use it on the paint and then just rinse it off. You can even wash it if you want, if you're a little concerned with residue. If Citral 266 is not something you can get, because it can be difficult for a lot of people to find, Goof Off, not Goo Gone, but Goof Off makes their Pro Strength Remover. This is comparable to Citral 266. Citral 266 is a little bit more powerful, but this re will remove tar, bugs, road paint, you name it. It's a, it's a solvent-based cleaner, and it's safe for um, OEM clear coat and paint finishes. So I wanted to throw Goof Off in the mix for some of you that might have a hard time finding Citral 266. When it comes to body solvents or paint preps, when we want to remove the residue that might be left over from the soap or the clay lube and we want to apply a wax or sealant, I talked recently about using odorless mineral spirits. You can find odorless mineral spirits at Walmart for about $5 for 32 ounces. You can use it straight or you can use it 50-50. Nice paint prep or body solvent to remove residues, whether it be polishing oil residues or any other type of residues from the other cleaners before you apply a wax or sealant. The other one I like a lot, and I talk about a lot in the past, is Dupli Color. This is their grease and wax remover. It's a paint prep, a body solvent, if you want to use it that way. I want to make a mention here that this comes in a plastic bottle. I find this at AutoZone for $8.99 for 32 ounces. It's part number CM543. What's really great about this stuff, it's soy-based. They do make another, DupliColor does make another grease and wax remover, and it comes in a metal can. It most likely will not be soy-based. I would recommend the soy-based version, and you typically always find it in a plastic bottle. When it comes to Degreasing tires or wheel wells, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Super Clean. This is their 32 ounce version, also comes in a gallon. When you buy it in the 32 ounce version, it's full strength, just like it is in the gallon. You can dilute it 5 to 1, 6 to 1, 10 to 1, whatever makes sense in your world to degrease tires, wheel wells. can also use it on the inside of the vehicle if you like. When it comes to dialing in the tire as far as applying a tire dressing, there are some water-based tire dressings on the market, but they're not all that great, especially on a retail level. They tend to fall, they tend to kind of diminish pretty quickly. I'm going to recommend Stoner uh, Car Care More Shine Tire Finish. This is a petroleum-based product. It does have silicones in it, but what's really nice, it's very easy to clean off the tire if you want to in the future. It leaves a nice satin matte finish to the tire, and it will last for several weeks. I've actually seen several months, depending on how you maintain the vehicle or what elements your vehicle is exposed to, but you can find this stuff, I believe, at O'Reilly's or even AutoZone. Stoner Car Care More Shine tire finish really nice satin matte look to the tire when it comes to compounds and polishes I want to talk about Griot's Complete Compound. Really nice compound for removing light to moderate defects. You can even use it by hand or with a dual action polisher. Somebody's going to ask me, what about Meguiar's Ultimate Compound? I like Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, but Griot's is a little bit more user friendly. It's, you can work with, it's got a little bit of a longer buffing cycle, less dust, and very easy wipe off compared to Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. So I'd recommend this on a retail level. This can be found at AutoZone. If you're looking for just a very light polish, restore shining gloss, maybe once a, once a year you want to just give your paint a little pop, if you will, Meguiar's Ultimate Polish, their pre-waxing glaze, is a great finish polish or just a very fine polish to do some paint enhancement once a year on your vehicle with a nice soft pad. You can also use it by hand if you like. Very easy to work with, no dusting, and the wipe off is a dream. When it comes to some form of protection on the paint, a wax or sealant, if you follow my channel, Meguiar's Ultimate Fast Finish, um, 
is one of the best retail grade sealants I have found to date. So user friendly, so easy to apply to the car. On a four door sedan, I can get around the car in less than 10 minutes and put some really nice tenacious sealant on the paint. It will last a long time. It does come in an aerosol. You spray it on a microfiber towel massage it onto the paint and just knock the high spots down. It couldn't be easier for you. If you want something that's got some filling capabilities, has a little bit more of a, you know, you got a, a traditional sealant you apply, give it 15, 20 minutes to haze and wipe off, I, re I would recommend Meguiar's Ultimate Pace Wax. It's not a Carnuba base wax, it's synthetic. It is a paint sealant, really nice alternative to Meguiar's Ultimate Fast Finish. If you want some filling capabilities on the panel when you're applying a sealant, really nice sealant, if you will. If you have a vehicle, oh, we got a puppy in the mix. If you have a vehicle that you don't love all that much, boy, you're like, I don't even want to go through the claying process. I don't even want to go through the paint prep. I just want to wash it and then apply some type of protection or wax. I'm going to recommend a cleaner wax for you. The reason for that is if you have a daily driver you don't give a lot of love to, you're not going to clay it, you're just going to wash and go right to waxing. Meguiar's cleaner wax is nice. It has some chemical cleaners and some light abrasives within it and you can take advantage of those abrasives and cleaners to kind of deep clean the paint a little bit more than just washing it. So I would recommend this type of sealant or wax for those folks. When it comes to a spray wax, boy that's a lot of stuff Scott, right? When it comes to a spray wax, whether you want to use them just to enhance shine and gloss or kind of give your base coat sealant that's on the car a little bit of help as you go through the next couple of months, Meguiar's makes their ultimate quick wax. Really nice formula. You can use it as a drying aid, a standalone, or to top off your waxes and sealants that are already on the vehicle every time you wash. Really nice product. I like it. Meguiar's ultimate quick wax is a nice way to go. I'm going to throw in something here, and as a professional detailer, I can't believe I'm going to say it, but it needs to be said. Turtle Wax, their Ice Premium Car Lime, their spray wax, folks. This is actually, in my opinion, better than Meguiar's Ultimate Spray Wax, and I'll tell you why. It lasts longer, more shining gloss. It's also sunlight friendly. I'm going to do a video about this on its own because I'm really impressed with this stuff. I like the spray head that comes with this thing, a really nice user-friendly experience. But Turtle Wax Ice, their spray wax, is a great spray wax as a standalone product, as a drying aid, a topper over a waxer sealant that you already have on the car, and it lasts longer than Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Wax. It also gives some more shining gloss. Really, really nice product. And guess what? It's a Turtle Wax product. I love it. Two thumbs up, Turtle Wax. Folks, I think I covered it all, right? That's a lot of stuff to kind of digest but you've got this video at your disposal in the future this is what this is what I would recommend on a retail level to be able to get you through the process you'll get amazing results in fact if you use these products and I walked up to your car a couple hours later after you dialed it in I wouldn't know if you use this stuff or professional grade products professional grade products typically give us more durability and longevity but on a retail level you can get amazing results the only thing I didn't throw in here was glass cleaners Folks, you're on your own with glass cleaners. I hate them all. They're a pain in the butt sometimes. But Armorall makes their auto glass glass cleaner. It's a nice product if you want to use it. I've talked about it before. But you're kind of on your own with a glass cleaner. If you find one you really love, let me know because I've tried them all and they drive me nuts. But I love you. I hope that helps you out. From washing, claying, removing nasty stuff off the paint like adhesives and tar. We got body solvents. We got a degreaser. We got compounds, polishes, spray wax, and also sealants. I hope that helps. Oh my goodness, we're at a 13-minute mark. I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you all.